Welcome to Let's Play NASCAR 2005 Chase for the Cup Part 138. And this segment is time for our next truck and bush doubleheader at Dover International Raceway for a double running of the MBNA, MBNA America 200. And uh, so, yeah. 100 laps of Dover over the next two segments, starting with the truck race. And um, I, I may or may not have qualified on pole for this race. So take it away, Bill Weber. EA Sports is proud to welcome you to Dover this afternoon as the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series rolls into town for the running of the MBNA America 200. Today, 36 of the finest up-and-coming NASCAR superstars will do battle on this challenging one-mile track, which has earned itself the nickname the Monster Mile. Drivers will have to do their best to escape the clutches of this monster while battling the other competitors out on the track if they hope to bring home the checkered flag today. Will it be a young gun or a wily veteran here this afternoon? We're about to find out as Green Flag Racing from Dover, Delaware is coming up next. Thank you, Bill, for that another very long-winded intro. Anyways, yeah, um, oh, hang on. Adjusting my speaker volume. Anyways, let's get started with the race, shall we? So, it's qualified on pole next to Curl Edwards, Coos and Curl. So, away we go and just immediately off the line I go. Unsurprisingly, so 50 laps around Dover for my first race of tonight's stream. Because when you need to knock off a couple days of rust, Dover's the best place to go. It's such an easy track, except not at all. Just not at all. Anyways, after a little argy bargy, that was entirely my fault. Got the lead, clear of Carl and the rest of the field. And something tells me this is the part where my creepy uh, spider truck pulls the hell away from everybody. Says it wasn't that difficult to score the pole. It could be Talladega. Talladega wouldn't even de-rust me. Talladega would just be, woo, I'm, I'm driving the car. Yay. <laughs> The only thing that Talladega would do is, uh, fucking have me struggle to stay in a straight line, because I'm really bad at that for some reason. Especially with this new controller. I must always shit on the controller. I don't know. Anyways. Enough of that. Pulling away. Already have a two second lead after four laps. what happens when you're in a fully upgraded OP piece of sexiness. How come some tracks are harder than others when they're just ovals? Shut up, Jake. Nice meme. Got quite a breakaway at the front of the pack. Not sure if that's incident ca caused by incident or if it's just Carl and I think maybe Quapple? Yeah, I see a yellow truck. I think they're just kind of broke away from the pack. Fucking restricted play tracks. I know, right? I mean, they're needed because without the plates, the top speeds would be retarded, but... Mm, it makes the racing so much worse. That's just, that's one of those cases where you actually have to sacrifice quality for safety. Which I'm perfectly fine with, but still. Then again, what would actually be worse in today's NASCAR? A 200, you know, spinning out at 220 miles per hour, or like a massive one car accident, or a massive 30 car accident at 190 miles per hour. Makes you think. Makes you funk. Used to like plate tracks, but with the 2015 cars up, it's been awful. Yeah, pretty much. I, I, I'm still like in the very. I, I'm still in the minority of. I actually preferred the tandem 
shit that they did for like a year or so before they outlawed that. Because, yeah. Two by two or a massive 30 car pileup. I'll take two by two. Like I said, I like the tandems. They actually provide. Not only did it split the field up to make it, you know, massive giant wrecks uh, harder to pull off, but it also, you know, provided a lot more on track strategy. Instead of just being in the pile and not. and hoping to God that your car doesn't get upset in any way, shape, or form. They need to find a way to make the cars like handle worse around Daytona and Talladega. So like, you know, they actually have to like maybe lift slightly to go into the turns, so there it's not just three by three for four hundred fifty miles. And then it's two by two because they're for the uh, last fifty miles, because there's only like ten cars left in the race after that. Yeah, I'm kind of four seconds ahead. Truck is OP. Although, considering what my modified was fully upgraded, I fully expected this. Yeah, the cars have quite a lot of downforce now. It's like you can't. It's like you can't be like fucking Dale Jr. in mid 2000s at Daytona and Talladega, where he just ran on his own around the outside and was still faster than everyone else because he's Dale fucking Jr. Like the cars produce way too much drag at that kind of speed. Junior was a plate genius. He really was. Like I said, he's the only one that could pull that off. And he was somehow able to. It's like, I'm just gonna defy physics, okay? Okay. Trying to be what? Angry at what happened to DEI? I can't even remember the whole controversy. I'm sure it had someone with. I think it involved Teresa being a cunt, but that's all I remember. Starting to lose some grip in my truck, or in my tires, so gap might start going down here a bit. But I have a four second cushion, so it's fine. Teresa and Junior at full war by 2007. Oh, yeah. It was mainly Teresa being a cunt. Yeah, that's what I thought. I mean, you know, why else would. Dale leave the family team to join Hendrick other than Hendrick was the powerhouse at that point in time. At least with Gordon and Johnson. didn't help that the 2007 DEI engines were basically 2015 Honda F1 engines. Oh dear. Failure rates. Yeah, that was, that was a big fucking mess. That was just a big fucking mess. Remember Evan Evernham Race uh, Motorsports? That was like my favorite team at around that time because of Casey Kane, mostly. But yeah, and the awesome ass liveries. Well, 
the the number font I will admit maybe really like the Everhand cars and then once Casey got that one livery that I'm sort of replicating within the game's boundaries with my truck here I'm just like oh fuck yeah Pit cycles are happening. Yeah, 2006 livery. Also, the Mopar livery that he ran in certain races was just mm, fantastic. It was so good. Oh, what happened up here? Someone did a big heckin' tire smoke. Oh, nope. Way too late on the brakes. There was no way I was making pit lane there. It's fine. Dale Senior Childress or Hen Hendrick? He was Childress. Also, sorry, Crafton. Didn't mean it. Damn it! I broke too late again. I need to pay attention to what I'm doing here. Fine. This is fine. Okay. okay, now slow down. Follow the line under 70. There we go. That was a bit of a mess. That took some trial and er error. Mostly error. So, yeah, that was a thing. I can't even remember what cars Childress fields now in NASCAR. It's kind of like Roush. The team is just a shell of what it used to be. In NASCAR, at least. Or in, at least in NASCAR. 3 and 31. Alright, so Austin Dillon and... No, Newman drives for Stewart. Does he drive for Stewart still? Trying to figure out who drives the 31 now. Oh, it is Newman. Okay. I couldn't remember if he still drove for Stewart or if he drove the 31. It was either the 31 or the 39. I knew that. I mean, Childress is doing okay, I guess. You know, Austin is alright. He's a good mid pack driver. Newman is like the most consistent driver in all of NASCAR in terms of finishing towards the front. Like in the top 15. There's a reason why he's in the playoffs every year despite never winning a race. And his pit stop's done. Still in the lead. Two seconds up on. I'm going to guess it's still Carl in second. I don't actually know. I haven't really been paying much attention to this race for obvious reasons. That's why I, you know, screwed up my pin entry twice. Whoop. Little kiss of the wall. All the Chevy teams are struggling right now. Oops. God, don't hit the wall. Okay. We're good. Alex Bowman finished third at Pocono, really? Wow. Wait, who's he driving for? And what car? Is he still driving the 23? Or am I just completely fucked on my NASCAR knowledge? I only know. Hey, Steve. Welcome to stream. Oh, right. 88. I forgot about that. I legit forgot that he took Junior's ride. That's good for him.
some reason I thought he was still driving the 23 Dr. Pepper car. If he ever drove that, drove it. If he ever actually drove that, I don't fucking know. I pay attention to things, yes, yes. Ooh, he signed a two year extension, nice. It's actually pretty good. And I haven't like actually followed any NASCAR for the past couple years, except the most vague of information. Of, like I know who's dominating. That's about it. Like it's the fucking Truex Harvick Kyle Busch show this year. And it was the Truex show last year. That's about it. The big three, and that's about it. Hmm, that reminds me of something. Formula One. I do want to, though. I do, I do want to watch that Charlotte Road Course race. Or the Roval. Just to see how that pans out. I watched a video of, like, the test session there. It was pretty interesting. That final chicane on the front straight is going to be a fucking disaster, probably, when it comes to pit entry and stuff, and lap one. Oh god, excuse me, sorry, fuck, no, no, save it, save it, save it, save it. Safe, we're good, everything's fine, we're okay. Also, the other NASCAR race I actually give a shit about is the Southern 500, because Darlington is awesome, and I also love the retro liveries. A lot. Oh, hey, Harry. Thanks for the bits. How many accidents today? None so far, except for that. That was the only accident so far. It's safe. I did it. I saved it. Unfortunately, that meant my uh, my lead's now down to a second and a half, but we're good. I'm paying attention. I'm gonna whack the wall, don't mind me. Alright, six laps to go. The guy who designed that chicane should be taken to a dark room and beaten. The 1.5 tracks are so ass nowadays with the side force dependent cars. So you mean 99% of the tracks? Because that's all NASCAR cares about is the 1.5 high banks. Which granted, do have the potential to provide great races, but still, variety is the spice of life. And right now, at least the sprint, the, uh, I almost said sprint cup, the fucking Minx, uh, doesn't have it. That's how out of NASCAR I, like, out of touch with NASCAR I've been for a while. I'm still, I almost called it sprint cup. And it's definitely not that anymore. Wait, Watkins and Glenn's this weekend? Already? I thought that was a lot later in the schedule. Unless they moved it. Hey, dingo. Thanks for the bits. As I continue to just whack the wall out of sheer stupidity. Sheer stupidity. One, two laps to go. Carl's only a second behind. Let's not fucking lose this race out of my own incompetence. Okay, okay. He's coming quick, though. I hope. 
hope I can. If I quit hitting the wall. It's two more corners, it's fine. I got enough of a gap on Carl. Alright, well that was an absolutely terrible final ten laps, but still take a very easy win in the truck race at Dover. With a very nice gap to Carl Edwards. <laughs> Last time playing NASCAR game was on Dreamcast. Oh man. A long time ago. Alright, so another fifty almost fifty thousand dollar payday. Good. Gonna need those for my Bush team next year. So there we go. Well, perfect uh perfect race for the truck at least. Start first, finish first, land every lap. Carl started second, finished second. Very good. Here's the rest of the results. Because I gotta scroll through the whole results, and who's the guy I almost wrecked while trying to lap him? It was Young. Okay. Forever Young. I don't fucking know. Yeah, victory lane. Woo. Oh, wow. That's... I was gonna say, that's not very many fans, and I realize I'm kind of at the cap for, uh, I think, I think it's based off my prestige level or something. I don't know. But yeah. Hooray. So anyways, uh, let's check out merch sales, because why not? I don't really know. We don't really need to check merch sales every race. I should probably stop doing that. What I can check is, well, poll awards, because I, I got my third truck poll. As well as the updated points. And here it is. I now have a 121 point advantage over Carl Edwards after gaining, what was that, 15 points on him? In this race, so... That's good. And then we get to check out our new trophy. Wherever the hell it is. Here it is. Nice little gold trophy. Hell yeah. Quickly filling up that trophy case in both the truck and bush. And with that, well, I mean, we got 31% of the trophies, so that's awesome. So, uh, yeah, there's that. So, with that, oh, hey, we actually leveled up our prestige. Okay, maybe the fan support's tied to what series I'm in. Maybe I can't go over 5 million until I reach the cup series. That makes a little sense. But anyways, uh, I'm at prestige level 6 now. Yeah, cool. And, uh, so yeah, that'll conclude this segment. So with that, stay tuned for more NASCAR and the second half of our, Do our Dover doubleheader.